Okay, first of all, I forgot to open the text to speech in case <clears throat> that should be recording anyway. Yeah. Text to speech and that. Okay. Minimize this. I'm going to play with NDI. So we all know um, Ventus can take NDI in. So if you want to install the NDI suite, um, you can download the NDI tools, which is here, and which will allow you to embed, say, a feed from an. You could capture a feed from your own desktop, and and display it in Ventus, or you could capture it from another machine on the network. And, and then display that or for example if you have a presentation and someone comes along with a laptop and want to plug in a powerpoint presentation and then you add all your graphics around it like a frame you can do that and i'll show you how you do that so once you download it you install it you'll get a new tech folder on your on your machine and what you want to run is the scan converter so if you run scan converter, it should pop open, and you'll find you'll see it pops open here in your what's it called taskbar. So it says NDI scan converter. So now you can choose what you want to capture. So if I want to capture a desktop, I'll say desktop, or my browser, or whatever window is open, you will see. Um, so for this one, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try, so now you can get Snapchat for your desktop. So the application should open. Hello, this is me. Uh, let's just choose a filter for now. Um, my eyebrows, my moustache moves. Anyway, let's see. You can play around with this. <coughs> And um, let's get this into Ventus. So I want this Snapchat into Ventus. Um, and I want to just display that in the NDI feed here. I can choose the Snap Camera, which is already selected. And to make sure the NDI is working, I can also go to the New Tech folder and preview it. So if I go, where's the New Tech? Uh, New tech tools and if you run the studio monitor if I can find it studio monitor you can see here it says alienware snap camera and then this is the um, <coughs> there's a slight delay but you can see it's capturing this window if I want to see the desktop for example I want to capture my desktop if I click desktop I can preview it here as well, desktop. And there you go. Now I've got infinity display on my desktop. So let's just preview it in the new tech. But how do you get this this feed, this window feed in Ventus? So what you can do is go to your Ventus configuration to start off with. Wait for the window to pop up. Okay. So we've got the window popped up. And you see, I've already done a test anyway. But you can call your conf edit your configuration or create a new configuration in all the own hardware. I'll delete this for now. So what you can do in Ventus is you can add inputs with NDI. So NDI, I can drag in and say, okay, I want one input. I could have multiple NDIs. I believe it's up to maybe 32. I might be wrong, but I think right now it takes up to 32. Uh, I can also bring in my webcam without to uh, be just the live feed of my webcam if I wanted. You could do that. Uh, whatever other hardware he picks up, we'll do it. So I'm just going to hit for now. It's going to need a video source. So I'm going to type in, you see here where it says Alienware? So the studio monitor is actually pretty good um, to find out what name you want to capture. So my one's called Alienware, and then brackets, and then snap, space, camera. Now you need to make sure it's the same. <coughs> it's spelled the same. Um, you don't need the 1950 by whatever. You don't need that. Uh, you just need 
the first the, your machine name and then the first bracket uh, and then once you're happy with that you can hit save you can play around with all the settings in there like low bandwidth and try it out depending on your hardware or your machine <coughs> so we've got this now if I go into Ventus now designer let's just load up designer oh yes and you snap snapchat if you want to download the snapchat thing oh where is it so if you want to download the snapchat plugin you find it here snapcamera.snapchat.com um, I'm sure there's other ways to embed this so you to capture it in full screen um, I believe you can get an SDK as well um, to access that anyway but so we've got a scene anyway um, so we could start off I'll just show you just to show you that the end there as well so if I go here new 2d layer live video and right now it hasn't picked up anything so let's make sure that we've got a picture yeah there we go so you can see it's, the NDI has picked up this window here in Ventus I had to click on the window for it to activate um, that NDI because it was inactive but it's there but right now it's distorted it's squished that's just the way that's just how we're capturing and stretching it um, you can see this is like a for free application rather than there. Uh, you can see as it as I change it here, it's, it's getting bigger. But what I'm going to do is something different. I'm going to create a 3D layer, standard, get an axis, a rectangle. Now that rectangle and the properties, I'm going to change the X to 16 and the Y to 9, 16 by 9. I'm going to add a live texture video to that rectangle. So you can see it's applied it to it. If I click on the that material for the, for the live texture, I'm going to change the lighting model to no light. There we go. Um, <coughs> and then here on the mapping, if you click on, on the actual uh, live video texture, you can change the UV mapping. So what I'm going to do is just scale this up to fit that rectangle. So I'm just going to change the position like this. Scale all. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it, but for now, I'm going to keep it like this. Be aware though, if you resize your, your texture, um, like this. Sorry. If you resize your your window, or then this UV mapping position will be different. Um, so I'm just gonna do something like this. <coughs> That'll have to do. You can see now we've got Snapchat in Ventus capturing it through the NDI. And say that so we got this, but say I want to control it. Now Snapchat in the app, they let you set hotkeys. So you can set hotkeys for filters. So I've assigned some to the number keypad. Um, it's easy, you just click on this little, once you add a, a filter, say let's find another filter to add, that's cool. It's quite a load. Uh, you can also make your own filters, which is cool. So you can make your own filters with triggers, which is more interesting. Um, Let's see, what's this one? 80s retro. Whoa. Bam. I don't know what's going on here. I decided to zoom into my face. Okay. Uh, now let's get a clown one. Hopefully you're not scared of clowns. Um, so you're happy with that and you want to add it. You just add that to your favorite. You notice it pops up over here. I go to the hotkeys and I can assign it a key. So I've got two, three, four. I'll set this one to maybe five. Save. So if I click on my keyboard. I can switch between them. 
And this one has got a custom, so I didn't use the one because it had a custom trigger where I can trigger one. And if I go to Ventus now, you'll see it is triggering when I'm pressing the keys. Now you notice that because I messed around with the application and I rescaled it, that's the UV mapping. So that's the downside. I'm sure there's a better way to capture um, the Snapchat into Ventus. Uh, but this is a quick and quick way just to do it. So let's make some buttons which will trigger these filters. So I'm just going to get an axis. And let's use a circle for a button. We'll just make a button. It doesn't matter. Let's place the button down. Well, let's make this full screen like that. Yeah, just to fill the screen. So I'm going to put the buttons over here to the right. Scale it up. Like this. I'm going to add touch button to it. Simple. Give it a color if you want. Color. I'm not going to design this. It's a really short video. But I thought it might be a cool idea. So say button one, two, three, four, or something like this. Let's go drop this down. This down. That. And I'll just give them different colors, so uh, you know. Uh, I might change that green to something else. Too, too green. There we go. That's too pink for me. Too, too, too bright. There we go. It's not too bright now. So we've got some buttons. And say we want to trigger these buttons and link them to the keys. So we we fire an event. So you got keyboard. And what we can do is we can trigger a Windows key. So we can emulate it. So if I said, okay, this is emulating 2. Oh, so it says press key and I say 2. Why is it not doing it? Eh. Why is this not doing it? Is this overwriting? I'm gonna just close the Snapchat app for a second. Just to I just want to check to see if this. Okay, that they they're conflicting, so I had to close the Snap application. So for now, I'll close it. I'll reopen it after. So two. So when I press two, you'll see two. Submit. It's submitting two. And now if I press here, it's emulate, it emulates the key press 2. So what I can do is just drag 2 to that and single tap. Um, I can copy this, paste, and then change your keys. I think the Snapchat was overwriting the key presses, which was weird. So 3, uh, and then press the key 4. Five. And then I'll just link emulate. Oh. Yeah. So now if I click on here and click on the fifth button, you'll see emulating the keyboard. So let's just open up the snap camera again. There we go. Woo. Woo. Extra zoom it in. Let's fix that. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Let's see what happens when I press a button. Does it trigger the, the shortcuts? Oh, it's not emanate. Damn it. Or do I need to turn these filters? Let's check. That's sad.
some reason the keys don't emulate. I think they conflict or blocks it. I'm sure someone can script it though. Someone can do something quite smart and script that, but let me try the direct input. Oh, I'll close this for a second. I'll just try it. I want to check if this one does anything to delete that. Commit. Uh, Snapchat, snap camera. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't doesn't trigger that um event. If I press two here, triggers it. If I press two here, it doesn't. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Don't know why it's not emulating, but it's worth a try. But at least you can see how you get an NDI feed in <coughs> um, into Ventus and what you can use it for. So if that imagine that was your desktop with your pal or your PowerPoint presentation running, then you could add your graphics around it or whatever you want. Your backplate, you know. Make a little frame or something, you know. Oh. Banner, banner, banner. I actually want to, don't want to scale it like that because the bezel gets distorted too much. Back, you know, I should say that's your feed. Push this put in the frame. There we go. So, this could or this could be just a live feed of a webcam here, and then you can have another person here. You know, two, two presenters. <laughs> so many things you can do with it. At the end, yeah, it's quite cool. I'm gonna give this one a color. And is there a blue party or whatever? You know. But yeah, try it at the end, yeah, it's quite cool. And then if you want, I can get my live feed as a layer. You can add it in a layer, 2D layer, live feed. Boom. There we go. Hopefully that was some use, just how to use NDI in Ventus. A simple way anyway. Um, these are your live feeds. Uh, well, have a good day. <laughs> Bye-bye.